Hello, welcome to the topic of differential metal corrosion. Myself, Kiran Kumar, the assistant professor, Department of Chemistry, ATME College of Engineering. So today we shall discuss on the introduction to uh, corrosion and types of corrosion. In the types, uh, we will be discussing about differential metal corrosion. And we will see some examples of differential metal corrosion. So, uh, corrosion is defined as it is the destruction or deterioration of metals or alloys and the consequent loss of metals through chemical or electrochemical attack in presence of corrosive environment is called as corrosion. So, corrosion is classified into two types dry corrosion it's also called as chemical corrosion so dry corrosion occurs in presence of corrosive gases uh, the direct chemical uh, reaction takes place in presence of corrosive gases such as sulfur dioxide ammonia hydrogen chloride etc so uh, this type of corrosion since uh, it occurs the direct chemical attack it is called as dry corrosion or chemical corrosion. Wet corrosion. Wet corrosion is also called as electrochemical corrosion or immersed corrosion. The corrosion of metals takes place through the ionic reaction in presence of moisture or electrolytes is called as wet corrosion. Example, uh, rusting of iron is the best example for wet corrosion. Let us move on to the types of corrosion. So corrosion is classified into various types in that in your syllabus you have only two types of corrosion. Galvanic corrosion, differential aeration corrosion. So today we shall discuss about differential metal corrosion. So differential metal corrosion is also called as galvanic corrosion where it is defined as the corrosion of metals when two dissimilar metals or different metals which are in contact with each other in a corrosive environment is called as galvanic corrosion. So galvanic corrosion occurs when two different metals placed in a corrosive environment. One of the metals having lower reduction potential acts as anode, hence undergoes oxidation and the metal corrodes. The other metal which has high reduction potential value acts as cathode, hence it undergoes reduction and the metal is protected from corrosion. Let us see an example. If two different metals such as iron and copper are placed in a corrosive environment where iron has less inert value than copper hence iron and behaves as anode it undergoes oxidation and the metal will be corroded very easily whereas the copper behaves as cathode it is protected from corrosion you can see in a picture where iron and copper are placed in a corrosive environment where the corrosive environment is a soil which has a moisture in it, iron has less C0, it undergoes oxidation. Oxidation reaction is shown here and the cathodic reaction is since it has a the surrounding environment has moisture in it, the cathodic reaction is water reacts with oxygen and two electrons to give OH minus. So such is a Fe2 plus again reacts with OH minus to form FeOH twice, which is an insoluble precipitate, which again undergoes oxidation in presence of moisture to give Fe2O3 3H2, which is a corrosion product. We shall see some animated video. Here you have a stainless steel and a galvanized steel. Galvanized steel has less E0 and stainless steel has more E0. So when two different metals are placed together, less E0 
galvanized steel easily acts as an anode and more reduction potential stainless steel acts as cathode thus the galvanized metal corrodes very easily you can see here in a galvanic series stainless steel comes here it acts as more passive when compared to galvanized steel hence and also the rate of corrosion of uh, the galvanized steel is rapidly corroded this is due to the difference in e naught value of stainless steel and galvanized steel so let us see some live examples so here copper and steel nut copper acts as cathode and steel nut acts as cathode where it is corroded due to differential metal corrosion one more example here where nut is corroded rapidly due to differential metal corrosion thank you